What's going on, Aquarius? Welcome to your reading. Vince here for 7D Tarot. Today, I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Right now, Source is telling you choices, right? Right now, you have many, many different choices. The choice to excel and the choice to use your point of attraction to attract abundance or the choice to let fear, which is really excitement, consume you. And right now, Source is telling you that the solutions to your problems only and always come from a high vibration, whatever these solutions are. Maybe you're telling yourself, how can I make more money? How can I meet my soulmate? You're looking for a solution. Aha moment of clarity. You want to be like, oh my goodness, this is it. This is how I do it. That will come from the stream of consciousness and that comes when you're in a high vibration. Imagine this. Imagine you have a cell phone and you're waiting for a phone call, very important phone call. Now, that cell phone better have reception. You better be in an area that has reception and that's it. Reception, high vibration, very similar, right? So for example, like this body right here, this, this thing is an antenna. This is how you pick up messages. If this antenna is not working, there's no downloads coming. Now this antenna only works when physically it's doing well, like your cell phone cannot be in water, for example. And then on top of that, it works when the vibrations, you're in a place where you have um, reception. So for example, if I'm looking for answers to my questions, imagine I'm like, how do I you know, get a promotion at work? First thing I do is I eat something healthy, I go for a walk, I sleep that night, I wake up the next day, then I ask the question. Because I gotta make sure that this antenna is working and functioning. Because if I eat you know, cheese pizzas, 10 different pizzas at night with three bags of chips, wake up the next day, I'm not gonna feel good. There's no manifesting happening, right? So physically, that's step number one. And then step number two is then at that point, I make sure that I'm in a high vibration. So I would think of something happy, right? At that point, I would think of something like, I always usually think of my wiener dog because she's hilarious. She's funny, right? She makes me laugh. So I'd wake up the next day, think of her, smile, laugh, and then be like, spirit, angels, and guides, I thank you in advance for showing me how to create a product that's going to help me bring a ton of money in my life, or if I wanted to get a promotion, how to ask my boss for a promotion where they are not going to get upset and they're going to give me what I'm looking for. You guys are the best. I trust you. I love you. Bye. Right? What I do? I showed the universe, look at listen, I'm going to go eat something healthy. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to sleep. This is me doing stuff. And on top of that, I have a high vibration and I called you with full reception. The universe rewards clarity of intention. That's it. But the problem is people usually tend to ask the universe for help when things hit the fan. They're like, oh God, help me. I'm so scared. Things are going so bad. I don't know what to do. I'm so desperate. Please, Lord, help me now. Even though you may feel like that, this energy, this is the wrong time. You're placing a phone call with no reception. It's like talking to a dead, to a phone that's dead. It's a complete waste of time. Your angels and guides cannot help you. Not because they don't want to, but they actually cannot help you because your energy has to be in alignment with their energy for them to talk. Very similar to walkie talkies. Walkie talkie. How's it work? They have to be on the same channel. Guys, it's the word frequency. Frequency means the same thing. It means information, right? Basically, you have to be able to be on the same channel. Hold the button down. Be like, Roger, Roger. Let go. And then the other person can speak to you. And that's the same thing with the universe. You have to be on the same channel, which is happiness, joy, love, passion, bliss. How do you get there? Go for a walk. Eat something healthy. Uh, exercise. Watch a show. Watch a movie. Give a compliment to someone. Be happy. Think of a thought. Anything. It doesn't matter how you get there, right? But you need to get there. I think of my wiener dog. My wiener dog makes me laugh. I get happy. I'm in their channel. You see how simple this is. But you can't ask them for help when you're desperate. It does not work. Your angels and guides are telling you that they are here to help and guide you. All your answers to, to your prayers will be there. And your feelings are the indicators of your alignment. Your intuition is telling you something right now to let go of something and to start something, to do more of something and to do less of something. I'll give you an example. Right now, maybe your instincts are telling you this is a great time to start yoga class, start the gym, start going for a walk after dinner. Maybe your instincts are also telling you it's a great time to stop overthinking, stop worrying at night, right? Maybe it's also telling you to do more of 
something, like more, you know, uh, um, listen to more podcasts that help enlighten, lift, uh, enlighten you, like Abraham Hicks podcast, Dr. Joe Dispenza podcast. Maybe he's telling you to do something less of, less overeating, less, you know, indulgence, right? Less things like that, less vices. So your instincts are here to guide you. And right now you have the eight of pentacles and the nine of cups, letting you know that you are going to be handsomely rewarded with a big financial opportunity very here, very soon here. By following your bliss, the doors will open up for you. And I cannot express this enough. Like, for example, a lot of times people are like, Vince, how do I get rich? I'm like, I don't know. What's fun? You know, when you were a child, what did you like doing? Did you like coloring? Did you like drawing? Did you like playing outside? Did you like uh, animals? Did you like putting on a show? Did you like tea parties? Did you like instruments? Did you like chemistry? What did you like, right? Did you like biology? What is it you liked as a kid? Because that right there is going to get you there. For example, if my wife and I need some money, if my wife and I want to get clarity of intention, what to do, what to do next, you know what she does? She grabs a coloring book. It's not like a children's one. It's an adult one. Very intricate. And she starts coloring because she leaves the third dimension and she drifts off into her imagination and creativity. And now in that flow state, downloads start coming, guys. What she doesn't do is go on her phone and start reading blogs. That's not going to help nobody. Trust me on that, right? If it worked, where's all the money and love? It doesn't work. You know what I do? I exercise. What I do, I learn stuff. This is how I, how I move on, right? If I want to be able to get a message, I show the universe, this is my offering. This is me doing something productive. I expect something productive back, right? But if you sit at home sitting there in fear, guess where you're going to get back? Life lays a mirror. Like attracts, like law of attraction. Source is telling you you're much better than that. Right now you get the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands. This is about inspired action, doing something you love. And right now universe is not punishing or responding or, or, or blessing, it's responding. The universe is responding to you. It's simple as pie. Imagine you walk into a bank. Now with the bank, imagine if you give a dollar to the bank and the bank gave you $2 back. Wow, so good. But imagine if you walked into the bank, you gave a dollar to the bank, and the bank, you know, didn't give you anything back. You'd be like, what the heck? Now, that's the universe. The universe is like, if you show me love, I will show you love back twice. This is why I love this universe so much. It's not handing out participation ribbons at all. It doesn't work, guys. Right now, the universe is telling you, all you have to do is show me what you're looking for. You want to meet your soulmate? Okay, what time do you want your soulmate to wake up? 4 a.m., you wake up 4 a.m. What do you want your soulmate to eat? Healthy foods, you eat healthy foods. Uh, what do you want your soulmate to watch on their YouTube feed? Mindless entertainment, or do you want them to watch a couple of things that help changing their lives, like how to make passive income? This is it. When you start doing these things, all these limiting beliefs, doubts, shadows, all this lower dimensional energy stuff goes out the window, and multiple offerings are presented to you, and now your life is effortless rather than efforted because you're focusing on the solution and not the problem. And this is something that works every single time. So the only thing that matters in this lifetime is what makes you happy, following your joy, your bliss, and most importantly, your excitement, and then the rest will manifest for you. All right, now let's get some money and some love into your life. Time for your affirmation. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section and breathe life into these words by feeling them. This is exactly how you quantum entangle with abundance and let your angels and guides know you're ready. So write down in the comment section, my dreams are the signature to my potential. Right now, this is you acknowledging you're in love with the journey and the process and that your visualizations, your meditations, your manifestations are your powers. So write this down. My dreams are the signature to my potential. Write that down in the comment section. Give this video a like and let spirit know you are ready. All right. Now, final message from your spirit guides. They say, what would love do? Right now, do you know why it's so easy for us in the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? Because you leave behind footprints of love. You're high, high frequency, high energy, being filled with unconditional love. You got to understand that for you, loving is effortless. But if you're having a hard time, you know, showing love, and love means happiness, peace, and joy, it's because this third dimension is full of chaos, stimulation, and fear. Now, what does this really mean? From the moment you wake up, you're bombarded with fear. Check out your Google News, your Apple News. Check out anything on your phone. Instagram is comparison, judgment. So it's not that you don't know how to love. It's that, it's that you're brainwashed and influenced. This is completely normal. As long as you're aware of this, right? As long as you're aware that your point of attraction, your power is love. When you're kind to others, when you're holding the door open for someone, when you're giving them a compliment, that's called karma. It comes right back like a boomerang. It comes right back 
tenfold, right? So now it doesn't matter what the next guy is doing because they're caught up in the matrix. You do you. You show love. You will be handsomely rewarded. Alrighty, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.